Hi everyone, my name is Shayla and I make videos about loving your skin and embracing your beauty. So you'll find a lot of topics about skincare, makeup, and tips for people with acne prone and textured skin. I also love to share encouragement and support for those of you who are really struggling with acne. In this video, I will be sharing with you all how I did this makeup look with the Tati Beauty palette. If that is something that is interesting to you, then just keep on watching. First, you want to prime your skin. There are a lot of primers out there. Some are oil controlling, some are blurring. Just find one that is best for your skin. And then we're going to prime our lids. This will help the colors to pop more and last longer. Just use a light brown shade with a fluffy medium-sized brush. Put that all over your lids and I like to blend it out. This will really help the colors to transition a lot nicer and blend a lot better. With a slightly smaller brush, you're going to apply red on the outer corner of your eyelid and blend it onto your crease a little bit. This will really add some more color and depth onto your lids. And then I like to blend it out with a clean fluffy brush. Then take another medium sized brush and apply orange onto the center of your lids and just pack on that color in the middle. Then use another fluffy brush to blend it all in again. You're going to notice that there will be a pattern when you're applying your eyeshadows. Usually you'll pack on color and then get a clean fluffy brush to blend it all out because if you're just constantly packing on color, then nothing's gonna blend out nicely. But then if you blend out too much, then there won't be enough color and it won't really show up well on your eyes. Take a smaller brush and apply a darker brown on the outer corner of your eyelids and blend that into the crease area with a fluffy brush. This is my favorite part which is adding some glitter onto the center of our lids. The pressed glitters in Tati's palette work beautifully and as you can see they're very very easy to use and there's not a lot of fallout either. If you want to blend it out a little bit more, you can take a brush and blend out that glitter. Line your eyelids with a brown eyeshadow. Then you can do your brows. I did mine off camera. Dot on your favorite foundation. This one by Dermacol is my favorite of all time. Then take a beauty blender, sponge, or brush, whatever you like to blend all that foundation in. Pat in some blush a little bit above the apples of your cheeks so that your face looks more lifted. Apply contour on the hollows of your cheeks and it helps to push that product in instead of sliding it when you have textured skin so that the foundation doesn't get disrupted. Make sure to powder your face to lock in that foundation. You can do this before or after your contour. Curl your lashes and put on mascara. Lastly, apply your favorite lip shade. This one in Rose Nude by M Cosmetics is one of my favorite nudes of all time. Then you want to highlight your cheekbones and I like to finish off with some sort of spray. This one is a beauty elixir by Banish. Let me know in the comments down below if you have tried the Tati palette yourself and if you're liking it. If you enjoyed this video, then please let me know by hitting that like button. As always, stay beautiful and God bless. I just wanna be happy